Ah, the tape measure. So primitive, but yet so necessary on our work sites. You know, so we can measure things. But there's always that one issue we have with the tape measure. Ugh. Yep, the standout. But Milwaukee has claimed that they have fixed this problem with a 14-foot standout tape measure. Yes, you guessed it. This is called the Standout Wide Blade 25 foot. Now they have different sizes, but this is actually the Gen 2 version of the stud tape measure. Now before we test this, I want to do a little comparison to show you the similarities of the stud and this and where the similarities stop. So if you remember the stud, which you might even have and they still sell, that was a pretty bulky tape measure and you can see the blade width is definitely wider than the Gen 1 sitting at 1 and 1 8 of an inch wide. But other than the belt hook, that's really it. Everything else has been redesigned on the Gen 2. You do have the belt hook, you have the tether hook on the back, you do have the finger grip stop down here on the bottom. The build quality is about the same. I, I'll tell you, I ran over that stud with my truck about three times, never had an issue with it. So I can't imagine this being any worse when it comes to, well, being ran over by a truck. Now the blades themselves, they are also made out of different material where the stud was more of a nylon and this is more of a stamped metal. But another difference is check out the magnet on the new stud Gen 2. It is freaking powerful, so powerful. Check it out. It's hanging by itself. That is freaking awesome. I'm telling you, that magnet is cool. The regular stud did not have that. Move it along to the next feature. Now, the wide blade. Yes, we already measured it. It is sitting in at 1 inch 1 8 where the first gen stud was under 1 inch. Now, I know you're probably wondering this. If you're wondering if the tape measure has a center scale, it does not. But it is printed on two sides, and you do get the architect scale on the back. That's pretty cool, right? And as much as I wish they would have added the center scale, I guess I will just continue to divide by two. All right, now let's test this out. You're probably wondering yourself, why is the blade so much wider? Well, I'm going to show you. Milwaukee claims up to 14 feet worth of standout. Now, we've seen this at the NPS event in 2019, and I was pretty impressed. Sorry for the light issue. I have to adjust while I do this, but... From my measurements, we are exactly 14 feet from the garage door. So what I'm going to do is run this out and see if it will stand out the 14 feet as promised. We're going to do a couple different tests here, and we're going to see if it proves true. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see this test, you have to be a subscriber and smash that like button. All right, so here we go. We're out a couple feet here. I, I got to be honest, I'm nervous about this. We're at four feet, people. We are now at the six foot mark. I already feel like I'm getting pretty tense. This could be the most draw dropping activity ever done on YouTube. Oh, we just passed the eight foot mark. We just went past the nine foot mark. Five more to go. This is pure insanity. Now at the 10 foot mark. Come on, Milwaukee, I, A, I believe in you. This is unbelievable. We just passed the 11 foot mark. You know the old saying, go for a foot or go home. OMG, we're at the 12 foot mark. All physics books will probably be rewritten after this video. At the 13 foot mark, I am going to faint. Damn it. And even though that was pre-recorded, I started sweating all over again. All right, so maybe I was going too slow. So let's speed it up a little bit and see if we can make it to the 14 foot mark. Nope. So no matter what I did, how fast I went, how high up I went, I could not get it to stand out 14 feet other than one thing that I did differently. If you were fishing that out and let the tip touch the floor, it will extend out 14 feet. Now, is that a little bit different than what we've seen at the MPS? Yeah, they were extended 14 feet out and they were attached to the ladder swinging back and forth. I'm just saying I couldn't do it in the garage. But what about the bending of the blade? Bending of the blade. Well, in all honesty, the 
stud gen one well it was more of a nylon so you were able to bend it and basically step on it and wouldn't fold over on itself but with this it's a rolled metal so yeah you can bend it but if you were to accidentally step on it it would definitely crimp now just to give you an idea between the gen one and gen two standout the gen one stud you're looking at about nine feet max for the standout on that with the wider blade on this you can stand it out up in the air no more than 13 feet but if you drag the bottom on the ground then you're looking at about 14 feet so what are my final thoughts on this milwaukee standout magnetic tape measure i really like it and well here's why it's a lot smaller than the first generation and even though the blade's a little bit wider it doesn't make a difference and as far as it goes with the bending over or crimping the tape do you really step on your tape measure all that often? Maybe somebody else would, but I don't see that being a big deal. Now, as far as it goes with the magnet, I love that thing. It works excellent, very powerful magnet indeed. It's definitely a lot lighter, like mentioned, and it's not as bulky. Now, there are a couple downsides to this tape measure. The first one being, well, I really struggled to get it to stand out to 14 feet, which, you know, 13 feet is still better than any tape measure I've ever used. But the biggest complaint that I had with this tape measure is not that it didn't have a center scale. My biggest issue is the retractor. Yeah, the recoil on this tape measure is not great at all. And I'll be honest with you, they're not really great on any Milwaukee tape measure. I mean, yeah, if you're out a couple feet, you won't have any issue with it coming back to you. But if you're out more than five feet, you're going to have to reel that sucker in harder than you would if you caught the biggest fish of your life. But other than those few negatives, it's a really good tape measure. But I'm curious what you think. What do you think of the new Gen 2 stud tape measure, the magnetic 25-foot standout tape measure? Again, they got a bunch of different sizes. I'll leave a link in the description below. Am I missing a tape measure? What tape measure do you like? What is the best one out there that we have not brought to this channel but you want to see? Let me know in the comments section. We'll get it on the channel. Let's get down to business. If you wouldn't mind, please smash that like button. Check out some of the videos I just put at the end card here. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tour reviews. With that, we'll be back soon with more videos.